Hi, my name is Adlin and I'm a co-founder of Saturday Kits and Fab Cafe Singapore. Um, okay, so currently I'm working at Fab, um, at Fab Cafe, and I run the programs and the activities there. I also help to do a lot of the backend stuff, um, including designing things, optimizing operations, finding new products, talking to customers, finding out what customers like, finding out what people um, who are not exactly customers want to do. Uh, a fab cafe is a fabrication cafe in short. It's a cafe with laser cutters, 3D printers and any kinds of things that you can fabricate things with. So people tend to think of like fabrication tools as more like digital fabrication. Those machines that I just mentioned, 3D printers and laser cutters, a uh, few of them, but I would like to think of it as a space where people can meet to talk about creative stuff, uh, make things, um, get to meet other people, find out what's current and what's new in the tech and the creative world. So it was in about 2014. Um, I was still with Saturday Kids. We were bouncing around a couple of co-working spaces, um, having meetings there and meeting other people when we came to the hub and I thought it would be really cool to have a maker space for kids. At that time, I think we were floating the idea around Saturday Kids for a while, having a space for children to be able to make things, to interact with tools, to discover what they can actually build with their hands. And at that time, I thought maybe um, joining Fab Cafe or maybe just Chris and Brandon for a few pop-up projects would be quite fun and see where this goes. So there, there was in 2013 and I did a couple of pop-ups with them and I decided that I could actually work together with these people and it was pretty fun. And so I think they found, um, they were talking to a couple of partners and then they found a good space and I thought it'd be good to kind of jump on board. When I was growing up in Singapore, there was this discussion amongst people at that time and it kind of came from the top. This was like in the mid 90s talking about entrepreneurs and I thought like, what is this thing, entrepreneur? I could be one, but I didn't really think much about it. The idea was that people who start their own businesses and create their own products and present it to the world. That is what I understood entrepreneur, entrepreneuring, entrepreneurial is as a child. But you know, when I was a kid, I actually wanted to be an inventor. Um, and I quickly dismissed that thought immediately because I thought, you know, there aren't a lot of things that needed inventing. I mean, the light bulb's invented, electricity is discovered, like what else could be new? But I think if I were to unpack the term in entrepreneur at this time, it would be a little mix of like being an inventor, a designer, a business person, being someone who wants to solve problems, basically. What is hard about co-founding? I think a lot of the times, A, it's glorified. People think that you know, starting a business or being your own boss is great and cool and you have all the free time in the world. But no, it is the exact opposite. You are your own boss, you are your own slave. You get to manage your time, which means that you need to discipline yourself to sit down and do your work and get your work done, otherwise no one will do it for you. You need to find resources, especially within a small company, to do the things that you want to do. And that's resources in terms of time, people, money, um, connections. You have got 1,001 things on your to-do list every day and you need to figure out which are the most important things. Aside from that, you need to be there for your team and you need to be there to be able to be the backup person whenever things go wrong. You also need to be at the front of things to know where things are going and where things can actually go 